the call of the 133rd Preakness Stakes. Let's go to Tom Durkin. And there he is, the story. Big Brown, one to five as he takes his position in starting gate number seven. And on the outside, it's Hayburn, ready for the start of the 133rd Preakness Stakes. And they're off. And Big Brown got off to a good start. So did Macho again down toward the inside. Big Brown forwardly placed. Macho again is there. On the far outside, here's Riley Tucker. And Riley Tucker's going to be the early leader. Hayburn with some early speed today. And Gallego, he's way out there. Big Brown has been guided to the rail. He's running along in fourth now. Then Stiebel fifth. Giant Moon sixth on the outside. Macho again broke well, but he's now back running in seventh. Kentucky Bear is eighth on the outside. Race Car Rhapsody is ninth toward the rail. And that's Ichabod Crane, 10th down toward the inside, followed by Yankee Bravo, and the last of them all, the last of them all is Trace Barashos. It's a very unusual spot for him. He's usually in the front at this point. The opening quarter goes 23 and 2 fifth seconds as they whip around that first turn here at Pimlico and move down the backstretch. The half was a sensible 46 and 4, and so it's Gallego. Gallego on top. Riley Tucker runs along in second. And Big Brown, he's just loping along now. Third as they approach that half-mile pole. Hayburn runs along now in fourth. And down toward the inside, Stiebel is fifth. Room at the rail for Kentucky Bear, and he moves now. A decisive move for Kentucky Bear going into the far turn. And Giant Moon, around the far turn they go. Three quarters up in one, ten and two. And Big Brown looms on the outside as they round the far turn. Riley Tucker has come away with a narrow lead. Gallego fights on. Big Brown right there on the outside. Just in behind them, Kentucky Bear down toward the inside. Race Car Rhapsody and Hayburn, and they turn for home in the Preakness, and Big Brown has seized the lead, and he is pulling away. Big Brown's doing it again. He is disappearing from the field. He's in front by five. And then it's Race Car Rhapsody, and on the outside, Macho again, and just cruising into the line. Kent DeSorbo looked in the rear view mirror. Nobody was there. He waltzes home to win the Preakness. No one's ever been close to Big Brown. Macho again finished in second. Ichabod Crane was third. So there he is, Big Brown. And it's now on to Belmont and the elusive Triple Crown. And maybe not too elusive for him because this was the easiest. Of and he looks like a, a $50 million horse, doesn't he? Yes, he does, and uh, looks like 50 million might have been cheap here, <laughs> in excess of 50 million dollars. I guess now the question is going to be, how many challengers is he going to have for the Belmont Stakes in three weeks from now? But this is the thing that amazes me. In 27 years of riding, I've never seen a horse accelerate like this horse does. And the MetLife blimp shot right here shows it as good as any shot can, and this is poetry in motion right here, Tom. You know.